What do you want from your KDM 500? KDM 500? That's the question. We just got a pair of new KDM 500 EXEs and we have, we've gone the 500s for various reasons, but today we're going to put them through their paces and show you what these bikes, why we decided to purchase these bikes. We're not super interested in all the technical data of what they did and didn't upgrade from last year to this year. We more just want to ride the machine and see what it does and what it's capable of and that's, that's what we're going to do today, so stay tuned and... <laughs> we purchased these bikes because we think these are going to be best suited for our all-in dirt bike adventures. We do a lot of big adventures. Um, we still need the ability to be able to do some hectic sections if that's the case. We think this bike is going to do everything we could possibly need. Aiden's running the 1450 gearing ratio and I've got the 1350. Seemed a little bit um, short because that's sort of 100 k's an hour. The bike's revving pretty hard if you're out on a big fire trail or on the road heading to the pub. So I'm going to test the 13 a little bit more and Aiden's going to give the 14 tooth a run today and see how it goes. Lake Hilton houseboat hire and you get yourself a houseboat, you jam your motorbikes on the front of it, you bring it over and you park up and then you ring your old mate Russ and Ado from All In Dirt Bike Adventures and they take you on a tour of the variety like this. Oh, Abby Abby, I just got one with the back wheel. Here's your bike, looks good. Thanks. They're a nice looking unit, aren't they? So all we've really done to them is uh, we've got the bash plate on, of course. Radiator braces, just cause you yeah, don't wanna be dropping it and flattening them off. We've moved a few bits and pieces around on the tail fin there, just to make it a bit neater. Oh, you, you really screwed me. Jesus. What happened there? I was coming up there expecting me mate to ride up the hill and I'll fucking walk up it. Be a bit of a challenge for a few people getting up here. I was not expecting that. Alright. I need to stand up here. Oh no! My bungee's down! 
Oops. Big angry beast. I'm not going to lie to you. That wasn't the big angry beast's fault. That was the arm pump on the little angry beast. <laughs> Couple of doubles. You nearly jumped that, wouldn't you? Just gonna keep riding. It's all good. I'll grab it. Have a look at the size of those two wedges. Wow, that's amazing. You. You know, when you get to lunch, you're hanging out for some day, and you brought a sandwich. Then you reach into your backpack, and this is what you find. Mushed, wet, disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> it's my luck today. Big day on the bike, out in the bush. Trust me when I tell you they, the bikes can get any, anywhere. The bikes can get anywhere. So the one thing, Aiden's like we spoke about before, Aiden's gone for the 14 front tooth on the sprocket. I'm running the 13 on the really gnarly, crappy stuff, the pinch at the top of the hill. The 13 tooth was fantastic. But when we got out on the fire trails, yeah, having that bit extra in top gear where you could just sit at 100 k's an hour and just mosey along, that's, that's good, I reckon, for a 500, because that's, yeah, you know, that's sort of what you want it for. So I'll, I'm going to stick with that gearing, but... And you still get up the, you still get up the pinches, it's yeah. a little bit, a little bit trickier. You've either got to run in with a bit more pace or you've got to go a bit slower and then we all know, yeah, your momentum's the key. So unbelievably happy my suspension, I've backed off about six turns on the compression and about four turns on the rebound on the front and I went out six clicks on the rear and that's pretty soft to feel those big washouts we launched off them today flat out it didn't bottom out but it got close on the rear so I, you know that's I think that's pretty good for the sort of riding we do yeah so. I've only done two clicks on the front softer seems really good I'm really happy with it I haven't touched the rear at all for now bike's perfect we had one real long rocky full drive hill and um real slow first gear and even came to a stop a couple of times really on and off the clutch and got them pretty hot but thermo fan kicked yeah, in didn't boil no issues with that whatsoever so to have a bike that's so versatile to do everything you want to do i don't think you can go past it hato threw his down into the rocks and dented his header scratched up the graphics so he's happy he's got his radiator brace on aren't i don't think i did to the header did i yeah you did it the header did i, I? I was uh, sticking my finger on before oh okay i haven't seen that yet that's good thanks for telling me about that yeah, that's super that. disappointing mm. you used to think that the thing was ginormously big you'd get on a big 500 whereas now you get on this thing it feels like a 350. it does it feels like you're on a 350 you need the extra bit of power it's, it's there and if you want to get out onto the shoot out of the bush onto the road and just hightail it up to the pub, grab a cannery and a couple of beers. I think this is the bike definitely for you. Remember, all in dirtbikeadventures.com.au. Follow us on Facebook. Get about it. And if there's anything you want to know about this bike, comment in the comments below. And we'll, if there's something we missed or something specific you want to know about, drop us a message and we'll answer any questions.